Hi, in this video I want to show how to make a scene from a scratch with our scene generator. I'll use our product I'm a creator perspective, but this tutorial also works with other products of I'm a creator trilogy. So, I opened several files with items. I didn't open all the files actually, there's much more of them. But here we have all the items I've chosen and they're enough to create our scene. I also opened the scene generator. It's a special file that is also included in the pack that you can choose to use as a background of your scene. It also contains some adjustment layers which will help your scene to look more realistic and finished. There are also empty layers here showing where we should drag the items in the layer bar. So how we create scenes? Select Move Tool. Click Auto Select Group in the upper bar and drag the items. Here I've dragged my item. It's too small so we need to enlarge it. I click Ctrl T and holding Shift enlarge it, just moving the frame's edges. About enlargement, all the items we create have huge resolution. This image, for instance, has 3300 pixels in width without the shade. They're all different. There are items in 2000 pixels and they are in 5000. So our items are really huge. But to pack them in files, we have to reduce them a lot so that the final size is smaller and for optimization as well. That is for a faster work. So when moving an item, remember that you can enlarge it a great deal. And never worry about resolution, as we render really huge items that will slot almost every purpose. So once again, we dragged the item and enlarged it. So that's how we create scenes actually. I will add more items. I add the clock, click Ctrl T and enlarge it. Now I want to use a different background. This one for instance. And we can also choose some adjustment layer. I like this one. But we can look at other variants as well. So I've chosen the first one. Here I select and minimize the folders. Now I select some clips, for instance, just to bring some chaos to the scene. We can make the folder larger. Another moment, if you need to place one item above the other, just change the order of the layers. So I just drag clips down in the layers bar. Now I select the next item and add it to the scene. I select the notepad. Now I change the layers order. Let's add some pencils. Here I add the pencil and I add the pen. We can add some more pencils. I also like these big wooden pencils, so let's add them as well. What else? The texture blocks in huge resolution we added additionally, besides those that we have in the scene generator. They help to make your compositions more interesting and original. So I recommend that you always use this pack. Now we have a problem with the size. So I will enlarge the items in our scene. Replace the items and don't forget about the composition. The process is really simple and creative. Now I want to add this plant. Let's place it in the foreground. So we've got a such an interesting composition here. Now with pencils, I enlarge them. 
I enlarge them together with the tape. They should be big indeed. Now we'll enlarge our notepad. We have such an interesting vintage notepad with a key. We can also add this plant here. I'll make it smaller and place it over the sheets of paper. This scene is used to present your work, so you can insert it into this sheet. And it looks more original when something overlaps the image a bit. I continue moving the item in the scene. Just following my composition instincts. Here it's all individual, so when you work with the product, you can choose yourself where you want to place the object. Another moment I want to show you is the shades. What one item actually contains. Two smart objects, one is the layer with the item itself, the second is the layer with the shade. If you double-click on the main item, you'll see some additional options, mockups and layers to change the item's color, but we'll talk about it in the separate video. And we also have the layer with a shade. We rendered shades separately, so that you could adjust them independent of the item. That's why we rendered everything separately, so you can select the shade and use opacity or field sliders to make it more intense or less intense. You can also change the blending mode to linear burn for instance. Now I'll change the color of the item a bit. I make it darker and select linear burn. I also make the shades of this box, the pan and the clock darker. And now I want to do the same with this box and this pan. Make it darker. The next step is adding something in the background. I'll add this character here. So, that is all. Our scene is ready. Now we just want to change the image in this mockup. And we'll talk about the mockups in our next video. What else can be done? We can make some quick changes, for instance. Select another background and different effects. So, just in a few clicks, we get a quite a different scene with a different mood. See the difference? You can also change some items quickly if you work in pre-made scenes. For instance, you can open a pre-made scene and make some quick changes. Here I remove the background and add something else. This skull, for example. Here I've got a new scene with a different look and different feel.